Hi, today I'm going to show you everything that you need to know to get up and running in B theme. B theme is our theme of choice over here at website Casa. So we can work with pretty much any theme, but as a rule, just to make it easy and that we can provide more support, we do work with B theme. And as you know, we work exclusively with GoDaddy, with GoDaddy Pro members. So by purchasing your hosting through us, you get a year's worth of hosting and a free domain name for about $32. And that's one year for $32, no monthly fees. Just head on over to website or hosting.com, click on start now, and we do have a video if you need some help with that, but it's pretty straightforward. But today I'm gonna to show you everything that you need to know about B-Theme. I'm assuming that you're a GoDaddy, that you're a GoDaddy customer. So we're gonna start from your GoDaddy dashboard. Now, I recommend that everybody log into their GoDaddy account at least once a month just to keep familiar or stay familiar with how to log in. Um, so I have a video on how to, on the basics of GoDaddy. So essentially you go to my products under web hosting, you find the hosting package that you're looking for. Today we're gonna work from the website or hosting. You click on manage. Now this is the long way to, to log in, but as I said, I do recommend that people use their GoDaddy um, control panel to log in at least, maybe I said once a while ago, but at least twice per month. This way you stay familiar and you know where everything is if you ever need to access it. It's one of those things that people don't think is that important until it becomes really important and then they get frustrated because they're unable to log in. So I clicked on the C panel. Now I'm gonna click on applications. I'm here, I'll click on my applications. When you click on my applications, it will bring you here. Now I'm logging into the back end of my site. So this is through GoDaddy. So um, I'm just gonna click on website or hosting.com. WP admin. Now, if you just wanted to go directly to that and not go through GoDaddy, you could simply just type in website or hosting.com backslash WP admin and it will take you into the back end of your website. Now, this is an old instance of um, B theme. So yours will be probably somewhere up here and it will say um, it will be under the dashboard. But in mine, it's under appearance. B theme options. Okay, so you go to the dashboard on the left, you see appearance, B theme options. Depending on how how recently you've installed it, it may be further up and it may be under the dashboard. So what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna go through pretty much all of the stuff over here. Um, I will leave some quick quick reference links in the um, description. That way, if you don't need to know about something, you can skip it. So the first thing we're gonna look at is global general. Um, this is where you set the layout of your B theme. Do you want it full width or do you want it box? Most people nowadays are using full width. That's when the site, as mine does, that's when the site goes from one side all the way to the other. So that would be the um, full width. The boxed, um, as I said, not that many people use it anymore, but um, some people do like boxed websites. That's when there's kind of a frame around it, um, and it does look a little bit different. For some sites, it looks good, but um, as I said, most people don't tend to do that nowadays. Um, your grid width, this is for the top of the website, how thick the header part is. Um, this just shows you how the buttons are gonna look. Um, some of these things become a little bit technical, but one of the things I do get asked about a lot is the favicon. The favicon is that little icon that shows up right here. For me, this is one of those things that shows attention to detail when someone's building your website. You will find that some people just don't put anything there. I think it looks really ugly, but um, this is where you would do that. So that's the favicon. Um, and you need to bring it in twice because for people that have higher resolution. The other important thing to people is their logo. So this is where you would add the logo. Now this logo is gonna show up in the um, top left right here. So I just have the website open in another tab just to make things quicker. This is how you control what logo shows there. It's right here on the logos, logo, logo. 
Um, that's the main thing. I'm not going to go into the details of the other ones because those do tend to be a little bit more advanced. I'm going to skip sliders. Now advanced, I'm going to skip as well with the exception of the Google Maps API key. If you're using B-Theme, you will find that because Google has updated the, way, updated the way that they do Google Maps, this is where you would add the code for your Google Maps API key. So if you're having problems with that, this is where you'll find it. Hooks, um, I'm going to skip that. Header and submenu. Header, this is an important one because this really gives the look of your site. This is where you set how you want your header to look. So if you can see here, we have it as fixed. Fixed means as you scroll down the screen, as you can see, the header stays right there. Um, as for a basic website, I do find that most people want it fixed, especially because a lot of people look at websites on um, mobile devices. So they want it fixed that no matter what screen or what part of the screen someone's on, they can navigate through the website. Um, the classic is another one that's, um, that I use, but for the most part, the main one that we tend to use or, and clients tend to request from us is the fixed. Um, the background image, this is the background image that will appear on most pages if you don't put something else there. The subheader. So the subheader is the header that, it's the subheader, it's the one that shows below the, um, the main header. Not going to do much with this because that does tend to be a little bit more technical. And extras. So this is the top right if you wanted to have a um, pop-up, some type of pop-up that would appear right here or some type of call to action. You would manage it from headers, extras. So menu and action bar. Um, this is where you could control the menu and how it how it works, how it looks, and how it responds. The, but I'm gonna major a little bit on the action bar because people ask a lot about the action bar. Right now, we have the action bar off. So if you look on the website, this is how it looks. Um, you just see it starts from website or hosting. If I add the action bar, then it will look more like our um, website CASA website. So what it's gonna do, I'm just gonna go to that for you. Um, what it's going to do, it's going to add an action bar that, oh, that's not good. Let me try that again. Website, casa.com. I'm not going to edit this out because these are the things that happen and I want to show you that some things are just really easy to resolve. So this is the action bar. So it says web, WordPress web design, the phone number, the other phone number, the email address. So in your B theme, the way that you turn that on and off is right here. So it's under menu and actions, action bar. And this is where you put the text. So where it said um, WordPress web design, that's this thing here, the slogan, then the two phone numbers, and then the email address. Okay, I'm gonna skip sidebars. I am going to skip blogs. I'm gonna go to pages. Um, this is where you can manage the page comments, page comments on and off. And the other thing is your error 404. Now, you've probably received an error, error 404 code. This is where you can manage um, what they see. And most people have it set to a default of a cone. Um, you can create a, a, a custom page. So instead of it just saying, oops, error 404 in a cone, you can have it say whatever you want. The other thing that people ask me about though is the under construction. Sometimes when people are building a new website, they like to put, you know, coming soon um, or things of that nature. I think that's a little bit antiquated because I feel, you know, especially here, we don't start building your website until we have everything that we need to build your website. And then we just build your website straight through in about 10 business days. So the coming soon, especially if it's a brand new domain name, no one's going to be going there until you tell them it's there anyway. So I just think the coming soon is kind of pointless. But if you do need that, this is where you do it. And you can turn it on and off. That way when people come to, the, come to your page, they'll just see coming soon rather than the site that we're building for you. Um, the next tab that I'm going to go to is the footer tab. The footer tab is really important 
the footer tab is what happens in the footer. So that's right here. So one of the first things that we do when we start building a website for someone, we put the copyright, the domain name, and built by website CASA. Um, so that's all control from over here. Footer, you can control how many columns you want in the footer. That's more in the widgets area. And then you can have a call to action. But as I said, this is where you put that little tagline at the bottom and you can control how you want it to look. Um, <clears throat> responsive, now most websites nowadays are responsive. Responsive just means that if it's on a, I'm gonna show you. So this is our website. If it's on a small screen, it will look like that. So this is probably how it would look on a phone, on an iPad, and on a large screen such as this. So you do want your website to be responsive. It will be responsive, but this is just where you would manage how, how, the, how it responds to the different screen sizes. And that was responsive header, responsive general. Then responsive header, similar thing. These are pretty technical. So I tend to tell people, if you don't know, just leave it alone. But um, this is how you could manage that. Super, super, super important, SEO. Search engine optimization. Now, if you're building a website, hopefully you're building it with a view to getting more people to visit your website and to come around. Now, when we build websites for people, we make sure that we do all the white hat items as far as SEO. Um, we make sure that we don't do anything that sits outside of what Google would want done. That way you don't get punished. So we do things, for example, we make sure that your site has a site map. We submit it to um, Google and the top 10 search engines. But if you want to manage what it says um, when people go to your site, so for example, across here, so hosting and domains, this is where you would manage that, okay? Um, this is where you manage your keywords. Now, the great thing about B-Theme is that you can set your overall SEO by, as I just showed you, coming into the menu, SEO, general, put your meta description, and then you can put your keywords. But in addition to that, on each page, you can build specific SEO for each page, which is highly recommended, and that's one of the things that we do for you automatically. So that's the SEO. The next important one is your, your social media. So this is where you can assign your social media um, handles. So if you have a Facebook, you put your Facebook page here, here, you know, Twitter, Vimeo, YouTube, etc. And those will show up um, if you have those designated. So I'm going to go back to the um, to our SEO page, and then I'm going to go back to website Casa, and I'll show you where those social media will show up. So you see them? They're right here. So this is linked to our Astor Business Center's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. How we got them there was by going into our B, B theme, social, general, and you just put them there. If you leave the asterisk here or the hashtag, if you leave that there, that means there's no content for it. If you put the name, it will automatically show up wherever, is it, wherever it's designated. Um, colors, this is another important one. When we build your website for you, we make sure that we um, customize it to your colors. So what we try to do is use the colors from your logo, but this is where you can control the colors for the various parts of your website. Um, so the general, the overall color theme, just in the header, the menu, the action bar. So in our action bar, we've got orange. If you wanted to change that, you'd go, over here to colors, action bar, and you know, what color do you want the text, what color do you want the background, etc. Now, probably one of the main reasons why I did this video today, other than the fact that I had to update the B themes video, is fonts. Fonts in B theme are, I don't know, I, I love B theme, but this one kind of is not one of my favorite parts of B theme. So in B theme, if you want to change the fonts throughout your website, so if you want these fonts to look different, you would go into your control panel, go 
going to fonts. Now, the reason why I'm not a big fan of this is a lot of the fonts are pretty, they're like fonts I've never heard of before. So the only thing that I could tell you is that you kind of have to click around until you find the fonts you like and then select them there. But this is how you do change the fonts. Remember, anything you do in one of these pages before you come out, if you want it to, um, if you want to activate that change you've made, you have to you have to click Save Changes. I definitely don't want to change the fonts on here, so I'm going to skip that. But this is a really important menu item. Translate if you want your website to be in multiple languages. Again, this is one a little bit more technical, but this is where it is. Custom CSS. Um, this is about how your site looks. Again, if you know about CSS, you're probably not going to pay someone to build your website anyway. So, but this is where the CSS is and the backup and restore. This is where you can back up your B theme or you could restore from a backup. But this is a quick overview of the B theme. It's a great theme. It's the theme that we use on most of our websites. One of the things that I do love about B theme is that they have, I'm, I'm actually going to go there right now. They have, last time I checked, it was like over 250 different themes, but now they probably have more. And, and because there's so, oh, 400 themes. Because they're so, so versatile, versatile um, what you can do is you can start with any of these themes and they're one-click installs, which I love. I'm going to go back over and show you the one-click install. Um, you can install any theme, and because you can change the images, you can change the colors, etc., you could use one theme for 10 different sites, but because you're changing the um, because you're changing the colors and the images and the page format, it can look completely different. So the way that you would do that is you go over here to appearance, B theme, pre-installed websites. So you'd have to have already installed B theme to be able to find this. You'd select the one you want, you click on it, and it will ask you, do you want to install? And you install it. It takes about, depending on, on your um, bandwidth and your, your, your Wi-Fi or whatever, it takes about two minutes to install. And then from there, you can just customize it. So I love B theme. If you're considering a new theme, or considering purchasing a theme, B theme is a good option. There's some other great themes out there, but as I said, we use B theme simply because um, we've invested a lot of time in B theme, and um, the pricing is really good. You can get it off Envato, and because we know a bit about it, we can make videos like this. So I hope this helped. I know it was a little bit long-winded. As I said in the footer, I will add some shortcut links that you can get directly to the menu item that you want. This was a quick overview of B theme and the B theme options um, from Website Casa. If you need a website built, just come on over to Website Casa. We build websites starting at $5.95 and we build landing pages starting at $99. Thanks.